Hey everybody, it's Ben here and I'm sitting in the back of my Mitsubishi iMeve electric car because I just finished installing a trailer wire harness. So since I've got this now and I already installed a uh, Torque Lift Central brand receiver hitch that I can put a two inch ball on, I'm all set to uh, do some towing with this car now. Now you might think, oh, it's a little tiny electric car. How can that possibly be used for towing? But you gotta remember that electric motors have all that torque at the low end. So it's great for pulling away from a traffic light, for example. Also, this happens to be a rear wheel drive electric car, which is also handy for towing. So I already finished doing my installation. I didn't know how long it was gonna take or how difficult it would be. So I just snapped some photos while I was doing it. But uh, let's come in close and I'll show you what I did. Okay, so for starters, on the inside back right, the passenger side of this car, there's a little removable panel, and that seemed like the logical place to put all this stuff. So inside here, I've got a Kurt-powered uh, taillight converter. So this is designed to uh, take the, the signal from the car and convert it out to a standard flat four uh, trailer connection. This is a Kurt 56146 powered taillight converter. And coming out the back of it here is, of course, uh, what I would plug into the trailer. This can uh, fold up, hide in here when it's not being used. Uh, also, the taillight connection is right up in here. So I made most of the connections right there for the left turn signal. I did have to go over onto the other side of the car. So another thing that's pretty nice about this car is it's, it's easy to work on. I mean, it's just sheet metal and plastic, nothing fancy. But for example, right here, all you really have to do is just pull straight up to remove this. And for example, right here, this white wire is going over to the driver's side and that's for the left turn signal. Now I'm just gonna flip up the back cover here, get that out of the way. And then for this piece here, you basically just pull it away this way. There's uh, about four plastic snaps in here. You have to pull up down on this corner and then kind of pry away around here. And just kind of give it a little pull and then away from this door frame. And keep track of any of these little white plastic things if they pop out. Okay, so now if you look in here close, uh, these here are the wires uh, originally going up to the passenger side, the right-hand side tail light. Uh, you can get at those through this access port here, um, but it, it's a little frustrating unless you're triple jointed. I highly recommend just completely removing the interior body panel here. Also right here then, you can unplug the rear tail light and that will give you access to the pins that are inside. So if you're not positive which wire goes where, what you can then do is uh, hook up a voltmeter, put the positive connection onto the wire there, uh, ground the negative, uh, turn the car on, and use the, the turn signals or the headlight or whatever, and you'll be able to uh, see if you're getting power to that pin or not. Uh, so what I did here was this is just using those vampire clips uh, that let you add a wire onto an existing wire. They're not great connectors, they're not super high quality, but in here, they're gonna be inside the car. So uh, they should be uh, out of the weather and shouldn't corrode. Uh, so I made the three connections here for everything on the right-hand side, the right-hand turn signal, uh, the tail light, and the brake light. So the, uh, the light green wire here, uh, that is the tail light. The violet colored one, that is the brake light, and the blue one is the right turn. Now, of course, that still leaves the left turn, so that's over on the other side. Uh, here's a still photo of that. That is a, a green or a dark green wire, and so I had to connect onto there a wire that I ran across um, from that side back over to the right side and connected that in. So that's this white wire here that gets butt spliced in. And then this converter also requires a ground, which is this white wire. And I just grounded it right here. This was an existing screw. I just pulled it out, used it as, as the ground wire. Uh, the, the tough part of this actually was the converter itself needs its own 12 volt power and there's no 12 volt power always on handy back here. So um, 
this white wire here is run up to the front um, all the way up to a 10 amp fuse straight to the battery. Uh, that was actually the hardest part of this because uh, I had to pull away a number of the body panels. Uh, I had to tuck the wire way underneath it and I had to pass it through the firewall up to the front. Now I already had a penetration where I had installed the wiring for the parking heater. So I just passed the wire through there, brought it up to the front, um, ran it through a, uh, a little uh, fuse holder with a ring terminal on the end to go to the main battery. So once I had this all wired up, uh, I put a couple of zip ties in there. This goes on with a piece of double-sided sticky tape. I just stuck it up in such a way that it, it would not block the bottom here and it would be uh, out of the way once everything was back in place. Uh, this, of course, can just get wound up inside. But I did also want to test it after I had everything installed but before I put all the trim back in. So this here is just one of these cheap little uh, trailer uh, testers you can buy. It even has a little key ring on it and you just pop it on there and then you go through your setup. You know, you test your headlights, your turn signals, your hazard lights, your brake lights. So I'm going to go to the front of the car and uh, test all those. Okay, here we go. Here's the brake light. I'm going to pump the brakes a couple of times. I'm going to turn the headlights on. So the tail light uh, should be lit now. Now I'm going to turn the the headlights off, uh, left turn, right turn, uh, hazard lights, and then I'm also going to test all those with the headlights on. So now the headlights are on, and right turn, left turn, hazard lights, and brakes. And since everything's working right, I can now put it all back together. Here's uh, one of those little white pieces that came out. That was from right here. And that goes back into this hole. Probably the hardest part is just lining up the uh, connection to the next piece of body trim here. And then once you got that, Kind of push in around the door frame. Make sure you replace if any of these white pins came out. This here goes in and down. And then that little uh, black mushroom pin goes straight down right here. Center tail piece is real easy. It's got two of these white plugs. Just go straight down. Wind up the cord. Stick it inside. So there you have it. It's actually uh, pretty straightforward to add a wire harness for a trailer onto this car. So I'm going to head out, uh, maybe do a little camping with my teardrop camping trailer or pull around a utility trailer instead of having to use a pickup truck. If you have any other questions on uh, installing the wire harness on this car, uh, you can leave a comment or check out the associated blog post over at 300mpg.org for more information and comments over there. Till next time, stay charged up.